What's good YouTube? DX back again with another video for y'all. And in this video, I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to turn something into a paper rip and make a transition out of it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So right here, we have two clips from the Destroy Lonely How You Feel music video, and I'm gonna be using these clips to teach you guys this tutorial. So the first thing you'll wanna do is grab the screenshot that you want and add it to a folder that you know where to find it at. After that, you're gonna wanna open up Photoshop and open up the picture that you just saved like so. After you've done that, you're gonna wanna mask out your subject. In this example, I might use the Remove Background tool because it'd be the easiest for tutorials. But you'll wanna go ahead and highlight that with the pen tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up just a little bit. Put the eraser tool on the edges of these. Like I said, you'll want a cleaner version, but for tutorial's sake, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this as quickly as possible. So once you have your masked out layer, what you're gonna wanna do is add a paper rip to your light. I'm gonna go take this paper rip that I found online, make it a little bit bigger. Then you'll want to remove the background from the paper rip. So in this case, I'll be doing this and using the eraser tool to get rid of the rest of this. So now I have one whole paper rip that I'm gonna go ahead and use for this tutorial. Once you have that, you're gonna wanna place it along the edge of your subject about as much as you can to get it started. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. The next thing you'll wanna do is go on ahead and click on your paper rip layer and go on ahead up to edit and scroll on down to puppet warp. After you've done that, you'll see that on the paper rip, you'll have multiple points where you can move things. So go ahead and make the pins and move it according to your subject. So you make the first pin at the bottom and then the second pin right here. And then you'll go ahead and move that on along, stretch it maybe if you want to, but make it so that there aren't too many pins so the image isn't too warped and it's believable, but you will want to make enough to the point where you're able to cover your subject entirely. If you mess up and put one where you're not sure if that's gonna work, you can go ahead and delete it by holding the Alt tool and hovering over where you just put it. So once you have half of your subject outline, you're gonna go ahead and bring another paper rip in. I like to use a different one so that it looks authentic. So I'm gonna bring it in, do the same thing as last time and bring away the background and all of the other paper rips that I'm not gonna be using. Then I'll go ahead and do the same thing I did with the last one, change the free transform, line it up as much as I can. And after I've done that, I'm gonna go back to edit, go to Puppet Warp, and I'm gonna repeat the same process that I did last time. After you've done that and you have your mask with both of the paper rips on, you'll wanna go ahead and export this photo as a PNG and save it to a folder that you can access for your video. Then next, what you'll wanna do is merge your entire image together in Photoshop and go ahead and make paper shaped masks out of the subject that you've just exported. Once you do that, you go ahead and hit mask and you have your first mask for the first part of the transition. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename that and I'll, I'll go ahead and put a one at the end of it to make the difference. Then after that saved, you'll wanna go ahead, control Z and redo it again with more of him highlighted. After that, you'll wanna take the three layers that you exported from Photoshop and go ahead and add them into the video. So once you've done that, your file should appear something like this. What you'll wanna do is take the three files, bring the first one to the front, have it there for two frames, bring the second one and have it there for two frames and then go ahead and bring the last one in and have it go for two frames. And once you put them one after the other, you should have something that looks like this. That'll be all for today's tutorial. If you guys enjoyed, I want you to hit it with a like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have any video ideas, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.